So today we're going to show you how to fit our Tsunami rubber watch strap to a Seiko SKX. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my wrist size. When you're measuring your wrist, you want it not to be too tight. So allow about a centimetre. Mine is measuring at approximately 190 millimetres. So we'll make a note of my wrist size. We need to measure uh, the allowance of the watch head. So we're going to measure the lug to lug length. And so when you're measuring it, you want to measure it from the spring bar hole to the other spring bar hole. So this is measuring about 40 millimeters. You also need to make an allowance for the, the actual buckle. Uh, and we've basically found if you allow 20 millimeters for the buckle, that's a suitable allowance. Okay, so we have some sizes now. So what we want to do is we need to calculate how much material we're going to cut from the rubber strap. And, and when you're actually doing the cutting, you want to be not cut as much because you can't put the material back. So if anything, just err on the side of caution before cutting the strap. So we'll do a calculation where we take your wrist size. You need to take away the lug to lug length, which is 40 millimeters, and also the buckle, 20 millimeters. So you take away those sizes, and so that 130 millimeters, we want to divide that by two, because we've got two, two pieces of rubber. The two rubber pieces measure overall approximately 86 millimeters. With our steel rule, we're going to put it at the spring bar point and look to where we're going to cut it. So 65 millimeters is approximately at that point. So the closest line is this, this line here. I'll do is I'll cut it from the, the further line. So it just allows me to be able to not trim too much off, try the fit on my wrist. If it needs some adjustment or I need to remove another piece of material, I would cut it to the next line. On this strap, we've molded in some cut lines to make it really easy to find the position where to cut it. You'll see some steel pins that are mounted in the holes that can be removed at the point where you'd put the spring bar. So we're gonna cut it on this second line here. So the best thing to do is to use a steel roll as a bit of a guide as well. You need a really sharp knife or craft knife and you hold it in place on a cutting mat or some kind of cutting material or a chopping board maybe. And then score through and that should give you enough to be able to then score through a second time and keep scoring through until the material has come off. We'll do it with the other part of the watch strap. Again, we're going to cut it on the second line. The next process would be to remove the steel pin from either side. We then fit the spring bars and now we can fit it to the buckle. So when you're fitting it to the buckle, I find if you fit it to the, uh, we've got micro adjustment holes here, and I would fit it to the third one in, which is near the middle of the buckle. That's in nicely. And then the other side. So now we can fit it to our watch, making sure we get the strap the right way around. This strap has fitted quick release spring bars, as you can see, to make it easy to fit to watches. Okay, that's one side. Let's fit in the other side. Okay, I'll we'll try the fit on the wrist. Okay, it's a bit loose. I don't want to take too much off, so I'm going to choose to take it only off one side. Let's take the spring bar out. Use our rule again to score through once. You need to take the pin out, put the spring bar back in, fit it back to the buckle, fit it back to the watch, making sure that we get it the right, correct way around. It's nicely on there. And 
try it on my wrist. Great. There you go. That's how to cut and fit the Tsunami rubber watch strap to your wrist.